In this video, we'll see how to build a comparator using an op amp and some of its applications. Comparators are circuits which compare two voltage levels and give a digital output. That is, it outputs a digital high if one input is greater than the other and outputs low if the other input is greater. The simplest comparator is an open loop op amp whose output depends upon the difference of the input voltages. If V1 is greater than V2, then VID is positive and hence the op amp saturates to plus Vsat. Which means digital high. If V2 is greater than V1, then VID is negative and the op amp saturates to minus Vsat. Which means digital low. The same can be seen from the transfer characteristics of an open loop op amp. As long as V1 minus V2 is less than 0, V out is minus Vsat and when V1 minus V2 is greater than 0, V out is Vsat. Now, let's see some of the applications of this comparator. Note that till now, we were using the op amp in closed loop configuration, particularly, in negative feedback. But now, we are going to use it in the open loop mode. The first and the most simplest of the applications is a voltage level detector. It tells us when the input signal goes beyond a reference voltage. This can be built simply by connecting the input to the non-inverting terminal and the reference voltage V ref to the inverting terminal. Once V in exceeds V ref, V out becomes 1, that is, plus V sat. An excessive differential input voltage can cause damage to the op amp. We need to take care of this. For the purpose of comparison, we only care whether VID is positive or negative. Hence, we need to somehow restrict the magnitude of VID to some small value without changing the sign. This can be done by connecting two diodes in this manner. Because of these diodes, VID is clamped to 0.7 volts, that is, the threshold voltage of the diodes. Hence, these diodes are called clamping diodes. This circuit can be further changed into a zero crossing detector simply by making V ref as zero. The output remains at plus or minus V sat and toggles at every zero crossing. This circuit is also known as the sine wave to square wave converter. The next application we'll see is the voltage limiter. These are comparator circuits where the output is limited to a predetermined value. The circuit looks like this. Both D1 and D2 are Zener diodes. In this case, as V in crosses 0 volts and increases in the positive direction, the output voltage V out becomes sufficiently negative, thus making D1 forward biased and D2 as reverse biased. Hence, the maximum negative voltage V out is VZ plus VD1, where VZ is the Zener voltage and VD1 is the voltage drop across the forward bias Zener diode D1. Similarly, when VN drops below 0 volts and starts increasing in the negative direction, then V out becomes positive. D2 gets forward biased and D1 gets reverse biased. So, the maximum positive output voltage is VZ plus VD2, where VZ is the Zener voltage, and VD2 is the voltage drop across the forward bias Zener diode D2. Hence, the output is limited between VZ plus VD2, and minus a VZ plus VD1. The op-amp comparator can also be used to build a time marker generator. That is, a circuit which outputs pulses with the same frequency as that of the input signal. Here, the output of the zero-crossing detector is first differentiated by an RC circuit. This gives us pulses at every zero crossing. We want the pulses to be of the same frequency as the input. So, we only need half of these, that is, only the positive ones or the negative ones. This can be done simply by connecting a diode in the end. The negative portion is clipped off and the output voltages is shown. Thus, the sinusoidal signal is converted into a train of positive pulses of spacing T. That's all for this video. 
If you have any questions, please ask in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.